With configure blinking, press the enter key. Press the left up key twice to get rung diagnostics, then press the enter key. Press the left up key seven times to get refrigeration temperature, and then press the enter key. Here you will find the air and EVAP sensor numbers. With the compressor on, both air and EVAP numbers will be dropping, showing no asterisk symbol when first turned on. You will notice the EVAP sensor will get cold first before the air sensor. This is because the EVAP sensor is mounted directly to the coil. The signs of faulty sensors or improper connections are either an asterisk next to the air and or EVAP number, or the air and EVAP numbers that are high and unrealistic. How to troubleshoot sensors. First, check the sensor connection. Then, test the air sensor. Third, test the EVAP sensor. In this video, we show the placement off by one pin, which is the cause for an asterisk on both the air and EVAP temperatures. Hold on to the air temperature sensor with your hand. With the warmth of your hand, the temperature sensor value should go up. If the temperature does not go up, the sensor is faulty and needs replaced. Submerge the air sensor in a small container of ice water. The temperature should go down towards zero degrees Celsius. If the temperature does not go down, the sensor is faulty and needs replaced. If the EVAP sensor fails, it will display an unrealistic value or an asterisk will appear. A faulty EVAP sensor will cause ice buildup on the coils. The circulation fan runs constantly when plugged in. If ice builds up, the fan can't pass air through the coils. Your refrigerator cools, but it won't get down to your set temperature. Not getting your set temperature indicates that your EVAP sensor is faulty and needs replaced. At any time you are troubleshooting or have the unit open and are calling for support, it is important to get the serial number. The serial number will provide the age and history of any unit. Once completed, return to the main menu. Hit the exit key twice, then hit the enter key when you see exit configuration. This will bring you back to the beginning to restart your program. Troubleshooting is now complete.